Hey guys, Jeff here from GB Customs again. So we're going to be doing a Mercedes C200 compressor today. Um, just going to put in a new key. So I'm going to be using the IM508. Um, you can use the 608. And I'm also going to be using the XP400 Pro. One of the things that a lot of people make the mistake of is connecting the XP direct to the OBD. You will blow up the XP400 if you do that. It needs to be connected via the USB cable to the top of your IM series computer. Okay. So what we're gonna do is, got the ignition on. I've already selected Mercedes. So I'm gonna go automatic selection. Read. Still reading the VIN, there we go, okay, there we go, C200 compressor, yes, and actually, escape, yeah, it's that one, hot function, add key, I will do um, an all keys lost on this, and I will also do one with a G box. This one I'm gonna do via OBD. So I'll just go on vehicle. Okay. Read EIS data, begin. Oh, it's doing an update. Okay, so the update is completed. So what we're gonna need to do now is test the frequency of the key. Okay, and then I put the key up against the XP. Okay, insert the key, the ignition key into the IR keyhole and press OK. Smart key, no. Okay. Detecting frequency of the new key. Insert the key into the XP. Press OK. Is there a key password? Press OK to enter password calculation process. So unless you've already done the uh, password calculations, you have to press no on the screen before, um, and then press OK. So 
So insert the old key into the ignition. Begin. Okay. Please confirm if the key can be turned on. Yes. Pull the key out. Okay. Insert the ignition key back into the AIS. Confirm whether the key can be turned on. Yep. So I'll pull the ignition key out, put it back into the XP. Okay. During the data collection, do not pull the key out of the programmer. password in progress so this could take anywhere from in my experience five minutes to an hour so we'll come back as soon as this progress is done so that's the calculation done um, today it took about five minutes okay so I just press ok and so the ignition key into the EIS. So take it out of the XP into the ignition. I can hear the steering lock come off. Press OK. Then it'll count down from 30. Yeah, guys, if you're in a hurry, a Mercedes key is not the one to do. Password calculation complete. Okay. Generating key file. Please insert the blank key into the IR hole on the programmer and press OK. There's what blank key in. OK. Detecting key. Right in the file to the key. Key edition complete. After pressing OK, check if the new key can be used normally according to instructions. So what I'll do is I'll take the old key out of the AIS, press OK, take the key out of the XP400, into the AIS, and I heard the steering lock straight away. So I can turn it, ignition comes on, Car starts. OK. 
a complete yeah it's turned the ignition on check we've already done that okay check if remote locks yes we've done that okay and then function that's it that's your new key programmed in um, so look out for the next two videos uh, we will be doing an all keys lost on this same car um, and also we'll do it with a G-Box as well um, but with it with it with these Mercedes the the earlier ones um, OBD is absolutely fine it can take you anywhere between 10 minutes to just over an hour depending on the key calculation Okay, thanks for watching guys and remember to subscribe to my channel and um, please leave any comments at the bottom. Thanks, bye.